हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मुश्किल आशान आई एम ज्वेता शाह क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टुडे वी डिस्कस हाउ नॉट टू किल ईच अदर इन द लॉकडाउन व्हेन यू आर स्टेइंग 24 फोर इंटू सेवन विथ योर पार्टनर और स्पाउस जोक्स अ पार्ट दिस लॉकडाउन हैज टॉट अस अ लॉट वी हैव कम टू नो हाउ मच द फैमिली मीन्स टू अस वेन वी कॉन्ट विजिट आर डिस्टेंट रिलेटिव when we can't visit our friends when we can't go out for a coffee or go out for a movie date together or the lunch or the dinner you are with your partner 24 into 7 for the last 6 and 1/2 months and yes you're going good you never thought of this situation there are occasional fights each relationship has its ups and downs and there will be occasional fights in every relationship Just think about it. Haven't you ever had a fight with your mother? Haven't you ever had a fight with your father, your siblings? Yes, you've had multiple issues you fought. But why is it that we are so highly expectant of our partners? One single fight and we start thinking, is this the right choice? Did I make the right choice? We are fighting a lot nowadays, but you have to remember you are under a lot of stress too. In fact, both of you are under a lot of stress. There is job stress regarding jobs. Many people are having the fear of losing out there on jobs. Few people are having issues regarding their jobs because maybe they are working from their home and giving their best output but the company is not giving them as much compensation as the com- they used to get beforehand now their compensation for their work has reduced so these issues and or they are living apart from their parents their parents are living in a different city and they want to come and see them but they can't visit them so they are worried about their parents and i know people who are living in different cities and their elderly parents have been diagnosed with covid they have become covid positive and they had to rush back to the cities where their parents live and there was a lot of issues regarding that but they've handled it all together and maintained everything so the stimulus whatever it might be it might be a third person it might be the covid situation it might be anything on the earth is not going to spoil your relationship if you're committed to each other if there is love and respect in the relationship and if there's empathy in the relationship if you always think that your partner does not understand you and is being too harsh once in a while put yourself in your partner's shoes and try to think why the other person is reacting in this way if your partner is becoming irritable during this phase and picking up fights just see what is the reason you need to ask the wise you need to put yourself in the shoes of your partner and see what is wrong what is it that is troubling them and they are reacting in this fashion there lies your answer that what is the change in your partner's behavior and then there are certain people who have dealt with the situation very nicely apart from their work they have given time to each other they are exercising together they are cooking together they are having their meals together which was not possible earlier it was they felt very lucky if they could have the dinner together due to their work schedule now they are trying to have their most of the meals together if their work schedule permits so whichever kind of relationship you are in at this moment a lovey dovey relationship for the past 6 months or a relationship you are thinking twice about to continue it or not or a relationship which has turned so sour that you were on the point of a breakdown but you could not go to the lawyer due to the lockdown and so you are forced to stay with each other give yourself some time use this time positively and see how it can mend your relationship if you try this is bound to work up i am currently seeing a couple one of them was into extramarital affair and would not 
stay home like three or four days in a month generally the person would go and say that he's going out on some work and then there was no work at such he was actually having an extramarital affair so this lockdown gave them a chance of introspecting what they want to do if the partner is ready to give up on the extramarital relationship and due to the lockdown the person was forced not to go out anymore and meet the other person so this made the person think that the attachment that the person had for the other person in this concept context is not that strong the person has survived 6 months of not meeting the other person and given this 6 months to spouse and children so this is a time when you can rethink about your relationship if it is not going in the direction which you would have liked to take measures so that you can improve in on it and if you're already in a lovey-dovey relationship do things which can maintain the relationship to know about such things of life which we face every day i'll be there every saturday in the evening you just have to subscribe and click the bell button and you'll get the notifications every saturday do share these videos if you like them thank you for watching